Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal Loy. Hope you all are doing well. So I hope from the thumbnail you get to know about the topic of today's video. So in this video, I'll talk about the placement statistics in ISC Bangalore for this session. That means the placement session of 2023 and 2024 for especially MTech in AI branch students. So this is one video you all are requesting me that please make a video regarding the placement statistics in ISC Bangalore for this year. And I was trying hard to get the data from from ISC students. Uh, but I just got the data about the MTech in AI branch students. So that's why in this video, I'll talk only about the MTech in AI branch students. But yeah, hopefully I'll get data from other departments also. And then I'll talk about those departments. So in this video, I'll talk about that how the placement is uh, going on for MTech in AI branch students, how many students got placed, what are the companies that visited, how was the highest package that is being offered, what is the average package, both CTC and base salary. Everything will be there in this video and I will give you a detailed uh, statistics of each slot. I mean each slot of placement, how many students got placed and how was the salary in the first slot, second slot, third slot. So everything will be there in this particular video. So if you want to know detail about it, please don't skip the video and watch the video till end. And before starting the video, as I always request you that if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button because if you like it, this video will get more and more reach. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification. With any delay, let's get started into today's video. First of all, let me tell you that unfortunately, not all students are placed uh, in ISC Bangalore in MTech in AI branch, uh, branch uh, department. And there are a uh, total 34 students who appear for the placement for this session. And out of 34 students, only 21 students got placed. Uh, that means the, if, I, if, I, if I calculate the percentage, 62% students approximately got placed, but 38% students are still struggling to uh, you know, get placed in any of the companies. And this is because of the you know, recession is going on in the market, you know, companies are laying off and all the companies are putting a cap on you know this mtech students recruitment even iit is also they are also kind of struggling uh, because of this so currently till uh, today uh, whatever data i have uh, 21 students out of 34 students got placed now if i have to give you the exact data so uh, out of these 21 students who got placed in different companies the average ctc which is being offered to the students is around 26.5 lakhs per annum and average base salary is around 22.5 lakhs per annum and the maximum uh, CTC is being offered is 40 lakhs per annum and uh, maximum base salary that is being offered is 36 lakhs per annum. Now, if I give you the detail of each slot that how many company visited in each slot and how was the package that is being offered in each slot. Uh, so there was one student who got a PPO offer that is P placement offer. Uh, the company who offered the PPO offer is uh, Striker. So this student actually did his uh, internship in this particular company and that's why the company offer uh, him the pre-placement offer. The CTC and base salary of this PPO offer was 24 lakhs per annum. Now rest 20 students got placed from the on-campus placement. So the first slot, there was six students who got placed in the slot one. And there was three companies who has recruited these six students. So per company, there was two students who got recruited. And these three companies are Observe AI, MasterCard and Meso. So all of these three companies has recruited two students and total six students got placed in the slot one. Among them, uh, the highest package actually was offered by Observe AI, that is uh, 40 lakhs per annum CTC and 36 lakhs per annum base salary. This is even overall highest package also, which is being offered by Observe AI. And uh, then MasterCard, uh, it offered um, 31 lakhs per annum CTC and 25 lakhs per annum base. And Meso offered 36 lakhs per annum CTC and 22 lakhs per annum base salary. So this was the details about slot one. So if you just take an average, the average CTC was around 35 lakhs per annum and average base salary was around 27.5 lakhs per annum. Now coming to the slot two, there are seven students who got placed in the slot two. And in slot two, uh, there are four companies who has recruited these seven students. So uh, one or, or the companies was Mercedes Benz who has taken four students. And apart from this, there are three startups who has taken one student each. That means three students got placed on those three uh, startups. So Mercedes Benz, it offered 20 lakhs per annum CTC and 19 lakhs per annum base salary. Uh, Fijusu, there is one startup called Fijusu. It offered 28 lakhs per annum CTC and 25 lakhs per annum uh, base salary. Uh, Louis offered 25 lakhs per annum CTC and 70 lakhs per annum base. 
and the highest salary is offered by a company called GeoTap, uh, who is giving uh, 30 lakhs per annum CTP and base salary. So if you just take an average, so in this session, uh, the slot two, the average CTC was around 23 lakhs per annum and average base salary was around 21 lakhs per annum. Uh, so from slot three to till that, there are seven students again who got placed in different companies. Um, so there are different startups and big companies who has appeared for, for different rounds like startups like Angel One, Netradine, uh, Kotec Live. So these are the companies who has visited and also Airtel, Havel, Slonkia, these big names are also there. Uh, so the average salary in these slots was around 22 lakhs per annum CTC and 19.5 lakhs per annum base. The highest salary was again by Airtel. Uh, it is 26 lakhs per annum CTC and base salary. So this was the overall statistics. In the first round, that in the pre-placement pre round, PPO round, one student got offered. In first slot, there are six students who got placed. Then in the second slot, there are seven students who got placed. And in the in the in the in the in the subsequent was the sequential one. Uh, there are another seven students who got placed. So this is how the total 21 students out of the total 34 students got placed. So what are my takeaways from this particular statistics and data that I have just shared with you? Uh, so first of all, I was saying the market situation is not good. Uh, you know, there are a lot of lay layoffs is going on in the market. If you open the LinkedIn or Twitter every day, you'll see that a lot of companies are actually laying off uh, their employees from different hierarchy. And also there is a recession in the market. That's why, you know, all the companies are not recruiting at their full phase. I mean, uh, I have seen in IIT Kharagpur at least that they are preferring BTEC students over MTEC students and they have an upper cap on recruiting the number of MTEC students. Obviously, they are not reducing the package. So that even in data also, you can, you can find out that slot one data was quite impressive. The CTC was around 36 lakhs per annum and base salary was around 28 lakhs per annum. That is really, really good uh, in terms of slot one companies. Slot two also, base was 21 and CTC was 23. And in the last round also, CTC was 22, base was 19. And overall also, overall also, if you see the average was 26. So average uh, CT salary was 26 and average base was 22. So the salary part is really good. I mean, companies are not reducting their, you know, paying scale or salary. The only issue is they are not recruiting sufficient amount of students. So maybe in previously they were recruiting four to five students. This time they are recruiting one to two students. And there is the problem. That's why, you know, only 62% student got placed because all the companies are not recruiting at their full capability or full potential. So that is an issue I think in all the IITs they are also um, facing especially for the MTech students and even ISC also they are also facing the same problem. And the second takeaway is this is really surprising that not any big companies has visited the campus in ISC Bangalore. At least if you see this data uh, there is no big names like Amazon, Flipkart, LinkedIn, Google, Microsoft, IBM. No such name is there in this list. Most of the companies who has visited and recruited MTech AI students are startups, except there are some names like MasterCard or you know Mercedes-Benz or Airtel, Nokia, but I don't think they are big names. They are kind of middle tier uh, product-based companies, but big names like Google, Microsoft, IBM, Flipkart, Amazon, they haven't visited, uh, you know, at least they haven't taken any MTech AI students. I'm not sure whether uh, they haven't visited the campus. That's highly unlikely because if they, you know, visited the campus, they at least take one student from MTech in AI branch. So most likely they haven't visited the campus and that data will be clear once I'll get the data for other departments also. But, you know, it's most likely they haven't visited the campus because if they uh, they have visited the campus, they at least take one student from the MTech in AI branch. So that is also very surprising that, you know, no big companies, they are not coming for the on-campus placement. So yeah, that was all about the placement uh, statistics details for MTech in AI branch students in ISC Bangalore. As I said, not all students are yet placed and I'll be looking forward uh, to the details again from the students when uh, you know the other students also will be given uh, will be placed in different companies i'll make another video but uh, till then we have to wait uh, so if you have any comments or query let me know in the comment section and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button so that you know this will get more and more reach and share this video to other people also to whom this video will be you know helpful and if you're new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so that when you upload new kind of video you will get a notification that's it about this video. I'll meet you in this video. Until then, bye.